Hello everyone and welcome to uh, a video that we are uh, showing you about our brand new 2v2 mode for Mindbug that comes with uh, uh, Mindbug Battlefruits uh, crowdfunding campaign for the first time. And we are together here with Richard Garfield, Christian Kudal, two of the other designers and myself, Marvin Hegen, also one of the designers. And um, since Skep, our fourth designer, cannot be here today, we have uh, Roma stepping in for him, who is uh, also part of the team and um, mainly working on the uh, digital game. So today we want to show you what we have been working on in the last couple of uh, months, because we were really excited about the 2v2 mode from the get-go. And when we uh, started our first campaign in 2021, uh, yeah, uh, we came up with uh, some rules and we always said that they are kind of not 100% tested, not really finished because we never had the time while working on all these uh, 1v1 sets to, to really finish them and, and, and give them the love that they deserve. So, but we always really, really uh, love them and we're really excited about the, um, how they feel when you play them. And in the last couple of months, we spent a bit more time to, um, yeah, to refine them. And we came up with a new mode. We still offer the old rules, but with a new mode that is a bit quicker and introduces some new mechanics in the game. And also came up with some 2v2 special cards that are specifically for um, this team mode. And yeah, today we want to show you the first playthrough of this new set. So maybe, Christian, do you want to tell a little bit about the rules of the, the new rules of the 2v2 mode? Absolutely. So uh, until now, the 2v2 mode we've had was giving each player 10 cards and two mind bugs. So the same you get as in a normal game, which means when you play 2v2, each team has a total of 20 cards and four mind bugs, which results in some really cool and pretty epic games that also sometimes could take quite a long time, which was one of the reasons we were a bit hesitant really pushing this mode, because especially for a new player, if you get into a quite lengthy game, it um, can be, I mean, for a first game, it's a bit more welcoming to have a, a bit shorter experience, we think. Um, so we came up with this mode, where each player has a total of three cards in hand and three cards in the deck, a total of six, and each player has one one mind bug, and we introduced the concept of one, we call it a mind frog, which works like a mind bug, but you can only use it on your teammates to steal one of their cards, which has some super nice strategic implications that I hope we'll, we'll see here today. I will credit Skeff with the, the mind frog. He was the one who really pushed for that, and uh, I think it really worked out. Yeah, yeah the mind you frog also need outstanding. <laughs> And we also need to give a little bit of credit for uh, to Alex, one member of our team who pushed us to, um, and I think also um, Roma, uh, to try the game with uh, with fewer cards. Yeah, this was and... something we never really did because we just really liked the 10 cards that we had always. They just really worked. Um, but it was an eye-opener to see that the game can actually work with just three cards in hand and three in your deck, which sounds a bit crazy. Yeah, it was. I was really skeptical in the beginning because it felt so. When you hear about it, it it, it feels or hears like you would not have any kind of uh, depth in the game because it's over so quickly. But it just leads to a situation where you have to rely a little bit more on your partner, and it feels really quick and fun. And I was really surprised how how well this mode plays. I think this was oh. something you pushed for, Richard, this fact that you should you should have some uncertainty where you have to take a leap of faith and rely on your partner. Yeah, that was uh, I, I was I was blown away by the idea of having the short decks and then um, and then once we dropped down to three card hands, it was amazing because uh, the thing is that in normal play, when we were playing with uh, five card hands and and uh, ten card decks, uh, just like a regular game, I could usually find answers for whatever I put down. And that's such a big part of Mindbug is is having answers for what you put down in case they steal it. But here, as you said, you have to take a leap of faith uh, because you just can't defend 
everything you can do with only three cards. And so your partner has to pick up the slack. Makes it feel very teamwork oriented. Did you expect it to work when you heard about this, like three plus three? Uh, uh, well, I think the, when I first played it, we were playing five and one card deck or something. Yeah, something yeah, we, we tried some. And, I, and I, I think my mind was open to it working there, and I was impressed with how good it worked. And then, uh, and then we went to three and three. It felt like it was too small, but it worked really well. Like, uh, and so, so yeah, I was quickly converted. I was very surprised. I just didn't think a three card hand would give any kind of agency or depth. And we have to say that we really, it was an iterative process. I think we, we yes. tried basically all of the different uh, <laughs> number combinations of cards in yes. hand in deck. <laughs> like one card in hand and 20 in deck. <laughs> well, no, maybe not all of them. <laughs> Although that's an interesting one. It could be. Uh, hmm? <clears throat> yeah. So, um, Today we are playing with the um, Battlefruit Kingdom uh, base set, plus some of the 2v2 cards for which we already have the final art. So not all of them are in this, uh, in this pool here, but um, I think you will get an idea of how these, um, how these cards work while we play the game. So we have prepared teams. So I think Christian and Richard have paired up together Yes. And um, Roma and myself will build another pair. Uh, pairs sit not next to each other, so they sit uh, 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 diagonally across from each other. How do you say it? I'm not sure. Did you explain the rules? What happens when you play a card and when you mind pocket a card, Christian? I don't uh, think you did, Rob. I didn't. So okay. uh, yeah, the base rules are similar to mind pocket. When you play a card, uh, you go around the table. Each one has an option of stealing it. Your opponent steals with the mind bug and your teammate steals with the mind frog. In case anyone steals, the turn comes back to you. So there's some with the mind frog. There's some nice tempo considerations. If your, your partner can steal it and you get another turn, you play more cards. So it's a way to get, can be a way to get many cards down early. Um, when you attack, first the person to your left gets to block, then the person to your right gets to block. And only if none of them block they lose one life you have a shared life total on the team so each team starts with three life and i think those are the rules did i forget anything no i don't think so just one more uh hint here so the mind frog the illustration for the mind frog is still a temporary <laughs> uh, some of you may re uh, remember this card it's a creature from our um, very first set but it will be replaced with a real mind frog <laughs> Shall we roll a die to see who starts? Yes, absolutely. So, all right. Okay, so then I will start. And I will start with this card. Mm. It's Captain Cucodile. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> yes, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> it actually, it had a um, maybe Roma. You can show the it in the big preview pane, yeah, yeah, so you that. can see what they what it does. Yeah. But actually, the 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 full name of the card was Captain Cucodile, the pickled pirate. <laughs> but it was a bit too long. So we... <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so I believe I, I I'm I'm first to decide yes. whether I'm going to mind bug or not, and I will pass. I okay. don't want to now, mind frog it. Yeah, now my, my partner, Romar, is, uh, uh, it's his turn to decide if he wants to use his mind frog or not, and he doesn't. So now it's Christian's last chance to... And, mm, this is actually a pretty good one. It's the harvest one. effect triggers at the start of your turn. So if I steal this, I get the harvest effect a bit faster than if I played it from my hand. Um. Mm, still, I will not mind for it. Okay, so then my turn is over and it's Richard's turn. Okay. Mm. Okay, so the card I'm playing is Bazook Carrot, uh, tough. Power seven, and uh, when this attacks, you can choose a player that cannot block this attack. Uh, so, for instance, I, I could attack and say Marvin is not allowed to block, 
and then uh, and then polarity ensues. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the special two v two cards. And you can see yeah. from the artwork, if you're showing that, Omar, that the 2v2 cards were making them as mixes of two old Mindbug creatures. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, don't want to mind it. Yes. Mm, I actually so expected scary. you to. You, you, you usually take this one, Omar, right? The, I mean, it's a strong one, <laughs> like every card, uh, but not this I time. Won't, I won't take it either. I'm very tempted to take it because it has had a huge impact in playtesting all the time we played it. Um, and I mean, you do I have. I still, I still don't do. I don't do it because I have a good blocker for it, and I trust my partner that he also will find a good blocker for it. <laughs> I, I could have mind it just to. You know, like if uh, Richard is not able to play something that uh, Christian is able it's to good mind attack, frog, right? I can attack free on my turn because I can yeah. avoid uh, <clears throat> Richard blocking. Yeah, for sure. But I don't want to do that. I will. Yeah, there's some play. there's some I, nice tempo I, play by using mind bugs or mind frogs in this in this mode. The yeah, the tempo in this game is much different than one v one. For example, it's very scary for me to play a um, a frenzy card. Because uh, if I don't have an answer to it, uh, it gets taken from me in a two two life right off the bat, or yeah. a life and a creature. Mm. So I'm okay. playing the best card in the game. <laughs> the shark dog NATO dragon. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the name barely fit into the box. <laughs> <laughs> I really have to get the. Max to work extra time with the graphic design <laughs> to get the name in there, but uh, he did manage in the past with the uh, Shaggy Crab yeah. Mummy Plus. So. I think it's the longest yeah. we got. Yeah, it, but it's a it's a very fun card. Mm -hmm. It's also one of the two v two cards, and um, yeah, maybe in general for all the cards, these are our playtesting cards, so they are not final um, graphic design wise. So text might be somewhere else, and. Um, for the Octonite, for example, there will be a special icon on the cards. All this is still missing in this version. Yes, I'm not going to take this one. It's kind of a little bit awkward against the, I mean, I guess it would allow me to hunt the Cuco dial before it, it harvests. But um, you will lose it. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, that's the thing. It's not a clean trade, <laughs> so I'm not going to take it. Any uh, mind Um I think it's a very good answer to the bazooka rod. Even so, it's tough. It takes quite a while to get it, take it down. And since it is a good blocker also for it, um, I'm not mind frogging out here. Okay. Okay. I was, Ooh, I was fearing that. I was hoping that this is not going to happen. <laughs> oh, okay. So he can Damn, hunt me. Damn, Richard, you got me. So now we have, now we have a tough situation because. Richard can hunt down your creatures, and then you can make me not block. Wow, that's strong. Mm. Yeah, and since I've used my mind bug, I can make less mistakes in the future. <laughs> and then I will play mine. Ooh, got a mind one. Bug to mess us up. Oh, that's actually super tempting for me to steal. <laughs> I know. Um, take it, take it, my friend. But I mean, since you have the harvest. Uh, from the Captain Hugo dial, you go to five lives, so it will be quite hard to like rush you down. Uh, but it can be funny that you too, Richard, and you that you are able to attack uh, without one of us blocking. So, uh, no, uh, okay, I'm not gonna take it. Okay, sorry, a mind frog, no mind frog, you know. Uh, was that your <laughs> subtle way of trying to get Marvin to mind frog it by sliding yeah. it over to him? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, and Richard's out of mind frog, so that's no. it. Yeah, so that's also um, one aspect of this mode. Since you only have one mind bug, the decisions become a bit faster during the game uh, when you approach the end game. Yeah, when you start running out of them. Yeah. I'm playing the cherry box. It's actually one of my favorite. Mm. Uh, just, 
So we so the defeated effective, if it's defeated in combat, you get control to take control of whatever defeated it. So it's quite nice on defense. You can block a big creature and take control of it. Yeah. That's really you love taking control of stuff. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> um mm. come on, you're not taking this right. You want <laughs> <sighs> No, but it's messing with what I wanted to do. Um, I am not mind bugging it now. Uh, no mind frog. And no mind bug. All right. So we go up to five life points. Yes, so it's my turn. So the harvest ability of the Q Captain Q Kodal, the pickled pirate, triggers. <laughs> and Un unofficial name. The unofficial name, yes, and we go to five life. <clears throat> Good. Mm. Do you want to attack with it? No, I don't. Because I want. I would love to get attacked. Yes, I wanted to attack. I would have attacked <laughs> into Richard's board, but not into your cherry bug. Yeah, attacking into my board is nice because I've got a tough creature which can chump block, and uh, this guy who I can trade, what I don't want to trade, so. Uh, I was glad to see my partner put down something which could uh, dissuade Marvin from attacking. Take the heat. I mean, yeah. you have yeah. you have quite a good board, and that sometimes happened in two v two. That like at this point we have Richard, who basically he wants to maybe even attack with both his guys. Um, so you can have one player who wants to do a lot of stuff, and the other is trying to find stuff to do. Um, so that's a bit of the challenge: balancing out the good cards between the two teammates. Ooh. I play Mangonade. It comes with three Octonite and once the souls are gone, it defeats all enemy creatures. Okay, I have no mind bug, so I pass. Would be very surprised if my mind frogs that. Now, note the mind frog uh, does give a tempo advantage uh, for those watching. Uh, if he takes it uh, after my turn, he'd lose one of these, so it'd be. Uh, Trigger a little faster. Tempo. Only if you don't hunt it down. But you are, you are clearly <laughs> trying to trick him here, Richard. <laughs> it will we not work. Uh, we know your little game. <laughs> but tempo is uh, front and center in this version of uh, yeah, Mind Bug. Absolutely. But I will not mind frog it. I don't want you to hunt it so pretty. Ah, you saw through my tempo. <laughs> okay, mm, Christian. Ah, it's really good. Take it, Christian. Somehow, you know, when a card says you defeat all their creatures, like it is as good as it sounds, I think. I and, I will take it. And Ooh. This is always a no scary mind bug left. Mind bug. Yeah, so we are Ooh, spending our mind bugs. No we've no mind we've got a very solid board. So uh, yeah, we, we do. Are. We do. Maybe yeah. in some difficulties, but let's see. Oh. I will play the Kung Fu uh, the Kung Fu tag team. Kung Fu tag team. So for the uh, audience uh, watching, uh, uh, note that Marvin is out of cards. Uh, this is his yes. second turn. His deck's exhausted. Um, so uh, the game moves very fast. Yeah. But I'm not out of uh, gas I, yet. I, <laughs> like this. I don't want to mind for it. Okay, so... Um, as you can see now, the decisions are much faster because Christian and Richard don't have a decision anymore, and it's only Omar having the mind frog decision to take. Yep. We don't have to rub our noses in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what I wanted to do. Okay, so it's Richard's turn. Okay, and with uh, by the way, tag the team, uh, when it attacks, it's got frenzy, the partner reveals a card, and you defeat a creature with power equal to the revealed card. So depending on uh, what hand uh, is being held, this can be devastating, but it is a crap shot. It's yeah. really one where you have to uh, have faith in your partner. <laughs> yeah. So my my turn, uh, I have a decision as to, uh, I can attack with this bazoo carrot and shut down one of these as a blocker, uh, which would be uh, Marvin because uh, uh, we trade here, or I may as well just attack with this and uh, uh, hunt with this and uh, start weakening that. I cannot hunt Marvin's creatures, otherwise that is what I would do. 
um, because this is a very big hunter, but it's a limited hunter. The other thing I could do is play a card, um, but they've got all their mind bugs, so that's not very appealing. So I'm going to hunt this guy. Fine. <clears throat> Exhausted. Mm, now I want to play something quite good. Yeah. Vanilla a Hunter five, Tough. Five, so this one is hunter. threatening hunting my mango nade, which was supposed to kill all your guys at some unknown point in the future. Oh. And it can even withstand being hunted by the oh. shark dog NATO dragon. Yeah, it's tough. It's a, that's a not good news. Indeed, indeed. I am still I'm tempted to take it to protect it from the shark dog NATO dragon, but not sure I will do it because it still can do its thing and hunt down the mango nade, which we want to have it for. So I'm not mind frogging it here. Okay. Right. And Christian. Good. Oh, I take one harvest token off the mango nade. It gets a bit closer to triggering, even though it right now looks like it will die before. Who knows? What will end up. Who knows? Happening. Uh, I could push the cherry bug. It's kind of fun. You don't have really anything you want to give me. Maybe this washed up uh, bazooka carrot. Um, but I would still be pretty happy getting that. Um, but it is also a super good defensive tool. Like, so I don't get bullied by this Captain Cuba dial. Yeah. Um, Yeah, look at the look at the captain. It's just chilling out the crocodile. It's not it's not attacking. Ah uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just yeah. cheating. Throw out this innocent looking oh. radioactive race. Yeah, this is actually a really fun card. So this one is a six power poisonous, which is good in itself. And it says if my partner is unable to take their turn, so it means if Richard cannot play a card and cannot attack with the card. Uh, we actually win the game. Normally, in that case, we would just skip his turn, and it's mm. basically a sign that we are not doing well. Um, but here, it can actually allow us to win the game. So it's really nice if you got a partner who got hit by a bunch of discard effects and have had all their guys uh, defeated. You can throw out this and turn your weakness into a, a positive instead. So, do you want it? I don't want it. <clears throat> It's like at this early stage, you're expecting it not to happen, right? And then later you might think, uh, oh, should have wait, taken wait, it. wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, I would. No, I don't take it. Do you want it, Richard? Uh, I might want it. I've got uh, five cards. You've got four, so it's got, a, and you'll be down to three. Yes. Uh, I think this is more likely to trigger from the so I think I will mind frog it. Unless... I think that's a good play. That's what mm. I had hoped you would do at least. I was expecting you, Marvin, to take it. Yeah, but you Marvin's too mind bug greedy. He's gonna hold yeah. on to that. <laughs> I am. Okay, okay. Um hmm. oh. Yeah. Okay, I will. Can we now every that? time you hunt my partner, we're is one step closer to our victory. <laughs> <laughs> no mind bug of Christian anymore. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, ooh. No, that's a good combo. Wow. So maybe uh, so Christian it, it, played the gory lion and raged. And it's a power 10, tough, frenzy creature, and your partner cannot play cards from their hand with power 5 or more. That means if Richard has no cards on the board... Um... I mean, ideally, I would want Richard to have this as well. Yes, you want Richard to have it, right. Because it would prevent me from doing stuff which might end exactly. up triggering the radioactive race. Um, so in that mm. sense, the combo is not quite working. Um... It's not working, yes. <clears throat> But the audience note that uh, that that uh, it's a it's a very good card, but it has this limitation. It's got a disadvantage. Uh, what what is usually a disadvantage that your partner can't play big cards. Um, so it's very interesting. 
Hmm. Yeah, um, I'm still I'm all, I'm tempted to take it, but it's so well uh, with also very race. dangerous for the opponents to mind bug because uh, because it might they might step on each other's toes. My it's kind of fun. Usually, I am yeah, very often seen this mind bug, and usually the teammate gets very angry because they <laughs> happen to have a card with a bunch of high power cards that they cannot play. Um, but the card is just so tempting with the 10 power tough frenzy. Is, yeah. That's that's the dream for a mind bug card. So yeah, that's, you just get it back with a cherry bug anyway, if you want. And that was my <laughs> thought. So if and, you then get you, it... and then you and then you have to a good blocker for my Captain Cucodile. Um, I mean, you could attack with the Cucodile first and then see what, if the cherry bug takes yeah. that. You can put out your big guns. I think you should take it. You know, yes, I will do it. Excellent. I, will I, think, it. It, I think it's a solid choice. You got me. <laughs> All right. Oh, that, mean, that means I'll be able to hunt my leftmost part uh, opponent uh, for the rest of the game because they can't play any high <laughs> big creatures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the main reason why I didn't want to take it, but yeah. I don't think it will stay here forever. This card. And and you don't trust your partner to mind bug it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or, did, right. or didn't <laughs> want uh, to be in that. Uh... And that's yeah, maybe I didn't want. I didn't, uh, maybe I didn't want him to have it. Oh, yeah, that's maybe. true. Yeah, yeah. Here's a bit of a <laughs> curveball: the corn coal. Ooh, this is a very different harvest creature. This one has an ability that says that other allied creatures cannot be defeated. So this includes, for example, my mango nade here that I'm trying to keep alive. Oh, yeah. sweet! Um, that's, that'll give you something to think about. But I for this one, it actually has a. Mind it has a bad harvest effect that when it harvests, so after two turns, it's defeated. So that's when its effect wow. stops working. So it's protecting everything for just enough time to help you turn the game around. Very, very nice play, partner. That'll that'll make them squirm. I thought it was a like the, the mango net was not yet out, even though the Respire Ranger came into play. But we'll see. And I mean, this calm cold can be defeated. Mm, I will mind bug it. All right. All right. Okay. Now we are all out of mind bugs. Yep. Yep. All right. Almost out of cards. That's the dream. <laughs> Which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> For now, I mean, if they kill your radioactive race, it could also be a bad thing. So let's see. It's not uh, that easy to defeat it. Okay. Uh, now it's Ooh. time for my Shark Dog Nade Dragon. Oh, two Shark Dog Nade Dragons. That's actually a pretty good combo because you get to hunt everything. That's <laughs> pretty good. So <clears throat> I wonder if I. Yeah, I mean, my there creatures no, cannot be uh, cannot no my way. creatures cannot be defeated at the moment. So they cannot, but they can be taken control of. They can be taken control of. Yes. Um. I will attack with this guy because it cannot be defeated, and I will ask my partner to reveal a card, and, and we defeat reveal... a creature with power equal to the revealed card. And I will reveal... So you have, you can have a one, a four, a six, a seven, or an eight. And that is kind of nice play. Normally with this one, mm. you're like, it's hard to attack with it twice because it might die after the first attack if it's blocked by something. But because the com call is in play, you get to do it twice. It's not bad. Mm, yeah. um, I will reveal this card. Let's see. Uh, so we get rid of your win condition. Uh, bye bye. Okay, now, guys, I would like my card back was, now. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was so hoping you having a power six card. <laughs> All right, I block with my. No, 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 no. It's no, it's Richard's position. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's no reason for me not to block with this one, so... Yeah. Actually, okay. there is one, because is he there? could have blocked with this guy, but I will attack another one. Oh, you're right. Okay, well, I will pass this time. Let him ah, first, we have, we have Roma. Ooh! Oh, this is really good. This is good, right? Uh, so, which one do I take? Up to you. Um, I mean, he doesn't 
I take this one because it can hunt down the coal if he wants. So I think that's the right choice. Mm -hmm. Keeping when that coal is doing a lot of work. Maybe one remark yeah. I should add here is that um, so allied creatures that does include the creatures of your teammate. Um, so this corn coal in normal play, it's just your creatures, but in a team game, it's also your partner's creatures. Yeah, we didn't really mention that. Um, the combo so, with the so coal is... and this uh, Kung Fu tag team is really nice. Yeah, I've, I've not seen it before. So that's the cool thing. If you ah. mix and match new and different cards from all the old sets, you can put them in here. Um, you will experience a lot yeah. of cool new make new interactions all the time you play so richard do you want to block my kung fu tech team i do not is? pass uh okay so uh, <laughs> so and i still have the option of blocking of the cherry bug but you know otherwise you're gonna do the same again next turn possibly i'm not sure oh i just block with the shark nature okay then it's your turn richard it was such a good play from you, Omar, to take this one. Yeah, uh, I was expecting this. Maybe it was <laughs> so, a mis misplay from me playing it. It's, yeah, it's certainly uh, possible. I, I, I thank you, uh, <laughs> Christian. It's, uh, but let's see. I mean, Richard still has five cards left. All you guys just have oh, your sure, uh, sure. I mean, it's not ended. tiny hands. Yeah. Um, okay, what do I got? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I was I was very happy to take that because I could follow up with this limiter also. Oh yeah. So you could it's have a good combo. It's kind of a yeah. nice play because my I have a very small hand, so it's uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean possibly There's only I mean, one the downside is not so big. In the way of, that's right. <laughs> I will not mind frog that. Okay, so it's to me. I will attack. Yeah, first harvest. Don't forget the harvest. Yeah. The Mongonek. <laughs> Please don't forget. Yeah, this is the one way that you like to forget. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somehow the other ones you don't forget so often, but this one you forget sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay. True. So Mongonek is dead. Bye bye, Mongonek. Mm -hmm. So can you play your last card? This is the question. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to answer it, but we maybe we'll see it if he attacks yeah, or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now if I was a bit more smart, I would remember what Romain had revealed from his hand. At least he had a yeah, six, two and he two. had an and he had an eight, and an eight. He can use that again to kill my shark nature guns. This is <laughs> this is not so great, I think. Um. Okay, there is an option of the sneaky play, maybe. Uh, mm, no, it's not time yet. Sneaky play is coming later. Okay, I just uh, attack with the shark major gun. Do you hunt something? Yeah. Yeah, I hunt your okay. kung fu tag team, and it doesn't die because of the yeah. kung fu. So it's exactly. just a way to pass your turn. Yeah. Mm. Um. Okay. I think I will do the same thing again. Attack. My ally may reveal a card. This combo is devastating for us. Yeah, I will <laughs> reveal again this guy. Ooh, a good old pineapple paladin. So I choose this one. Yeah. Richard, do you want to block it? Uh, yeah, I'll block. Okay. Uh, I tried again. Maybe my partner still has something in hand. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, we also are a bit a, a bit lucky to have all these good uh, <laughs> this matching numbers. That's not yeah. always the case. So um, no, we want to block all... again, Richard. Block. Yeah. Never yeah. saw this card do that much work, but I think now <laughs> we'll get out of this uh, hellish uh, condition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you will get out of it. So it's Richard's turn. Okay. Uh... Okay, so it will not activate on your side, but there is a mind frog on Christian's side. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm playing the prime fungus. While you Sorry. control no creatures with power higher than this, it has frenzy, hunter, and poisonous, and it's a power six. 
So this so, uh, does uh, feel like a play that is intended for it. That which <laughs> wants me to mind frog this one because it doesn't really do anything for him. So yeah. I'll go ahead and be a good partner and take it. Yeah. So maybe that's the right time to um, talk a little bit about the uh, talking rules. So we we recommend to not talk about what you have in hand and to not tell your partner um, or influence his his yeah. mind frog or mind bug decisions. Yeah, so you can play, I mean, you can be really tournament strict and uh, say, have a little talking or you can play more casual form of what we're doing now and just don't say what you have in, in your hand or tell the other person what to do. Um, it's a bit different in different groups, which how they, what, what they enjoy the most communication wise. Yeah. Well, yeah, have when you're first learning, uh, it's a good idea to talk strategy, certainly. But a lot of the joy in the game comes from uh, trying to figure out what what your partner has and what mm -hmm. they can do and what they want you to do. Um, and that's a fun way of communicating through the stuff. cards. Like when you're playing this yeah. Prime Fungus, you're not telling me I should take it. But from the bot state, I can see it's not doing anything for you. So you probably want me to take that. Mm. Yeah, I would I would have characterized more as an it's an opportunity for you. If you didn't want to take it, I wouldn't have. Uh, uh, you wouldn't have yelled at me. I would have guessed that you had some reason for wanting to save it. Yeah. I will. <clears throat> by turn, then I will. Nice try, Roma. I really, I really <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like you try. Uh, I will attack uh, with my hunter the pisky peas. Okay. So this will take one life from your raspberry ranger. Okay. And then we have Christian. Yes. Now you maybe maybe now you can play a card again. Mm, oh. Maybe. Uh, so maybe not. Prime fungus is interesting. So it's my most powerful creature. So it has frenzy, hunter, and poisonous. And it's a power six. Mm -hmm. I think Omar he knew this raspberry ranger was a prime target for that. So yeah. that's why he didn't care so much that it got exhausted. Yeah. Um, so like, so what I can do, so I'm gonna attack with this one. So I'll defeat the Raspberry Ranger. And now the question is if I want to do more stuff, like I could trade into, for example, the Borsu carrot. Um, well, this guy the... can't possibly do us any more harm, can he? <laughs> he can, but I mean, now he can also die. Like, I mean, if you block with your Gorillion, he will die. Yeah. Uh, it, unless, can, it, uh, can, it definitely can change. do more harm to you. I mean, <laughs> seeing as I don't have so much stuff to do, I will actually not do a second attack. So I'll not use my frenzy. I'll just have the Prime Fungus chill. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> So, yeah, for people uh, watching, uh, uh, these team cards are a lot of fun in the team game, but they're not necessary. You can play with any set of mind bug cards. You just need to uh, make yourself some mind frogs to get the full experience, uh, which is easy to do. The mind frogs really add a lot to it. No. As you could see from the play, Richard, this, this for example, it's uh, it's super interesting to steal cards from your teammate as well. Yeah. It's a good tempo. It's a good way for players to accidentally step on their partner's feet, which yeah. is nice. Uh, but equally, it's a good way for them to dance the proper steps. And sometimes allows you, like with the Prime Fungus, to get more out of a card than you otherwise would have been able to. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like card sharing, basically. Yeah. Okay, so I will attack again with a Kung Fu tech oh, team and hope that and hope that I remember correctly what Kuma has in hand. Oh shit! Now you mentioned it, you yeah, correctly. Yes, yeah, so this, um, this one yeah. goes away. Mm, okay, so I so just reminding in my head, knowing that he had a six, yeah. I maybe should have attacked it. On the other hand, what I do get is that now you at least spent your turn. Yes. So Richard, do you want to block? Now, uh, I do have this question as to whether I want my partner to get this, and it will uh, depend mm -hmm. on what's in my hand. Um, That's also a nice, a nice <laughs> and, uh, decision. 
uh, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to fill it. Okay. Good. So that's also a nice way of you conveying information to me. So if you don't block yeah. it, you're kind of signaling that you want me to take it, which would I mean would that you have something good in your hand. So I would check with it and take the leap. I and would I, have loved and, to have done that. <laughs> but this, and this is exactly the situation that are so much fun in this game, where you where you really think the decision is so obvious for your for your ally, but he doesn't see it. <laughs> yeah. And then you have these funny situations coming up. It's one okay. Of the, it seems you are slowly running out of cards, Richard. In my head, you had like yeah. seven cards yeah, left, which isn't even possible. Um, now, I've got this interesting question. Uh, I, I can attack with this, shut down Marvin, and maybe end up trading, maybe not, um, because they've got so much life, they could easily just take the life. I could attack with this, in which case, presumably, Marvin would block it, because taking two life is starting to get a little dangerous. But if he blocks it, then I'm freeing up my partner who might be stuck with a uh, high power card in his hand. I mean, this. But Romain is, has three cards that will also be freed up. Three cards, and we, yeah. we, we know some of them are bad, uh, or some of them are bad for us. So, so I think probably this is doing us more good than harm. Although my partner all, probably. He's probably in a bad position if I don't attack, but I think uh, that's just the way it's got to be. Um, I'm going to put this sneaker out. More peace. Hmm. Uh, it's, uh, we should mention now that uh, the rule for um, not in, in mind bug when you can't make a move, you uh, lose the game. Here, uh, both partners have to not be able to move. So my partner. Christian could actually be out of plays and we as a team are still in okay position. He's just got to pass his turn. Yeah, um, but I mean, but I still I have my also... cherry box that I would then be forced to attack with, yeah, like, take something. So it could still be a your... while, but yeah, once I cannot do anything, you just skip me and I might be able to come back in later and do something. So I have to attack. You don't have to say that you have to attack. You know, <laughs> everyone knows my card. <laughs> I remember you have a six and an eight. I don't remember the last one. Um, all right. Uh, so who do you choose that can uh, block? Our choice. Uh, do I give that to Christian? I don't think so. I will attack and say that Christian cannot block. Okay. So up to you, Richard. Okay. I'll kill it. Defeat it. Mm. Okay, this is interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. so if I attack here, I mean, they could just take the hit, but probably they are sick of this cherry bug by now and would like to get rid of it. <laughs> probably they just give me this <clears throat> wash up pickled uh, pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to pick your pirate? Uh, uh, there's some um, chance they give you this so that they can open up their, ha their hands. Oh, that's true. That's true. There, would actually there be a juicy play as well. Um, I'm actually going to play Ooh. a very cool card. Yes! My partner can actually play. Uh, I actually good. could play them. I was not just uh, role playing, uh, <laughs> deliberate, like thinking about my turn. I was able to play this whole time. I just chose not to. <laughs> nice. I thought, I thought for sure I had uh, trapped you. <laughs> And this one's interesting. So while there are exactly two other allied creatures, they get sneaky and poisonous, which is very powerful. Yep. Right now, there are uh, four other allied creatures. But uh, depending on if Marvin starts attacking, trading away some stuff, this could easily come online. And especially if you get a frenzy guy who also has sneaky, then it's a very fast game. But yeah, that was really <clears throat> smart from you to not play it earlier because I was like when it was put on sure you wasn't able to play the card in your hand and was forced then to attack with the cherry ah, bug, okay. you know and so we can give you the captain uh, crocodile so you, you so you wanted me to yeah get the crocodile yeah, to get rid of the cherry bug interesting i mean i just actually just didn't want to play it into your raspberry ranger uh i did okay. not have time to do it but uh, yeah yeah maybe you didn't yeah because you was hunting my uh, my hunter Okay. But so... if I got one more turn, yes. 
I will play the Okra Shaman. Ooh, that's a good one. And especially with it the life you gained. It's a, it's a power seven, frenzy, tough creature. And when you play it, you may lose one life. If you do, you can play a card from any player's discard pile. That's bad Ooh, news for us, I think. That's that is bad strong. news for, for you, yes, indeed. That's quite strong. Uh, I will not mind frog it. That's a very good decision, my friend. And I will pick a card from Richard's discard pile that we have seen before. Yes. Oh, shit. It's, it's it happening, is, guys. It is the radioactive race, and we will pull off the combo we talked so, about. We lose one life. Race. Yeah, so we the, lose one life, exactly. So, so just to explain to people, so you chose the radioactive race, which is the card that if your partner is unable to take their turn, uh, you win the game. So whereas normally that would be very bad if Roman is unable to take his turn. And because you have the Gorillion enraged, which is preventing him from playing his three cards, it actually means you will probably win on his turn unless Richard pulls some kind of rabbit out of somewhere. Yes. <laughs> That's a quite uh, cool. Model. This is this is this is a rabbit that I pulled out somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a radioactive one. I was I, I didn't see that play. I was actually thinking it would be very good for Romain to steal it just because you know he'll get some cards and get back in the game. I was really hoping for him to see it. No, no, I've seen it. Ah, Romain uh, is such a good play. Of course, uh, I see it. I think my only play is uh, to gamble that. Uh, well, it has another play because uh, I only remember the six and the eight from Table Talk. I assume he he actually is jammed, but uh, but uh, uh, my only play is to attack with sneaky. I yeah. think uh, and that's another we point, will, and we're done. We will take a hit, and then Roma, you can you play, right? Are you unable to take your turn, Roma? We got to be so lucky. Not seven was the last one, right? Yeah, it was. Oh, the dragon fruit. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Seven. So it's a GG. GG. Well, well played. It was fun Very to nice. see the Souls Network. It was so fun. Happen. <laughs> yeah, so that's the game. Uh, usually when you play, it's a bit... We took some time here explaining the plays and stuff. So in real play, it will be a bit faster. Um, and as always in Mindfuck, it can vary a lot. Some games are very aggressive. This game was actually not so aggressive on the live. It was more different combos being built and nice little combo pieces shattered around everywhere. Yeah. Yes. And we've seen the best combo ever, I think, for two v two. This Gorilla, Yon and Rage, and the Radio. Ah, there are other, there are other really yeah. cool combos. I think the the one with the cabbage that came that, up. Uh, that no one really nice. saw at the that beginning. Was really, that, was that was really, really nice. Cool. Yeah. I think my cherry bug just did so much work just by sitting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was really afraid of it the entire game, but in the end, it did not do anything. <laughs> Is it? I mean, it kind of did. Uh, and of course, of I had. Hooked with the oral, uh, orange owl mancer to give the Richard's uh, Gorillion uh, sneaky, so it could just start uh, hitting you guys for yeah. two per turn. <clears throat> yeah, that was very scary. That, that, yeah, that uh, um, the guy who uh, allowed the partner to show cards. Uh, yeah, was this confident that he had so many good ones. Like if he had had my hand, <laughs> wouldn't have been any good at all. <laughs> um, what would have happened if uh, we didn't give them the cabbage? Did uh, did we have other avenues, Christian? Yeah, probably that would have been better. I have yeah. to admit, what? somehow, I, mean, I, I didn't think so much about what happens if they take it. I just thought this would be a really cool card for me to get. <laughs> I mean, we got yeah. rid of those both, both power eight hunters that was threatening, were threatening our entire board, basically. Ah, uh, they were really good. You also got rid of the... Uh, yeah, kind of cool that uh, that after the smoke all cleared, it looked like we had turned the game around, but then you crushed us with the uh, with your last play. But yeah, look, you could, lots you of could stuff have, going on. You could have used the cherry bug to block uh, the kung fu tag team. Yes, also, and uh, yeah. I I definitely should have. I yeah. yeah, somehow I was pretty bad at, at remembering the stuff in your hand, but, I guess, <laughs> and and I yeah. underestimated a bit how much different stuff you would be able to hit with it. It was totally <laughs> devastating. <laughs> Yeah, that was that really was. <clears throat> but as Richard says, we did somehow manage to stabilize decently. Um, I mean, in, for a long time, it worked well for us that this Gorillion was locking out most of Romain's hand, yeah. which meant I had a lot of fun, but then suddenly I didn't have any more fun. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's funny that yeah. I, I basically i did not play them but every one of them did something in that game by showing it to to the ones Marvin in your that was able to defeat stuff yeah with it. so that was fun oh, you could have also had a pretty good play you know you play the well, watermelon and then yeah. play one of the fast ones and attack with it and trigger an attack effect or something like could be quite combo turn mm -hmm. yeah. you could have got rid of the cherry with it yeah I think these somehow in this game, what always gets me is this emergent synergies, you know, like all the combos that we talked about today, like none of us really put them there. We just make some cool cards and they just happen to work out that way. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun yeah. even in your own game that you get to discover the combos. No, mm. no person really put them there. <laughs> and there is a lot of them. Uh, when you take all the 2v2 card, I think that's a lot of new stuff to discover uh, with all the set existing. Yes. Yeah, and and I hope it has been uh, a good showcase this game. Why we are really hyped about these two v two cards because we considered when we created them to make the cards so that you can also play them in the one v one, so that you can combine them with all the other cards. But they turned out to be so much fun if they are specifically about your partner and they they really enrich this game out so much that we decided to go with them like go full all in um, and make them 2v2 cards yep uh, do we have any more of them that we would like to show mm, I, I have yeah. uh, the sweet killers here for example mm -hmm. that's is like uh, it gives all your partners creatures attack if this has power five or less the opponent loses one life and for me this is like a, a really cool card as well because it gives like like a mini quest to your partner um say hey look look here is here is the the, the goal to our the, the the path to our victory but maybe you have power five creatures or not or um it, it's a really cool card as well yeah, just really buffing up those small guys. Yeah. Sneaky uh, dealing too, it's, it's quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, my last card that I didn't end up playing is this one. Uh, this is a good example of a, a card which is not designed for 2v2, but plays very well with 2v2. This one, you can return an allied creature to your hand. And if you do, you can play it. And so there's just a lot more going on when you have your partner's cards to pull from. Sure. Uh, so like you could take one of my creatures, maybe that already triggered its harvest effect. You take yeah. that into your hand, play it again. Now it gets to get the tokens yeah. again and do the harvest again. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And, and also like I was thinking this was when we had uh, our, uh, this, this guy in play, um, the radioactive race, this was a way to really accelerate the end of the game. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it could also be a way to steal the radioactive race if it it's like some yeah. ended up on the wrong teammate. Like if, yeah. if I had it, but I was the one who was starting to be unable to do stuff. Yeah, it could have been some good combo also with this card. It's fun to think about. Once people get these into their hands, they will be, you know, they will experience all these cool combos and they will yeah. even discover a lot more that we didn't even see yet. I mean, you can um, also bring back the calm call to your side, but resetting oh, the yeah. best on it. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the in, when when you showed the card, Richard. That was immediately what I was thinking. So I would have totally gotten the, the cabbage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. So we are excited to see how you will like the two v two mode once you get your uh, your hands on it and get your own chance of experiencing all these new combos and make bring mind back to all your friends so that you can play them play two v two. I think it will be a great great experience. Thank you everyone for um, taking the time to play around with me tonight and showcasing the game to, to all our fans outside. Yeah. Goodbye. Well, thank you. That was fun. Good night. <laughs>